Okay, let's see where we're at. 213. Okay, let's see what we've got going on so far. Let's uh let's actually let's just look at this thing real time and let's not even look at the bones. So I'm going to display only render. So only objects that are actually rendered are being shown. It's kind of nice, cleans up the scheme. All right, do I like the timing? Okay, I'm not going to mess with it. In my final shot, which when I actually put this into a movie, I may mess with the timing a little bit. But for this tutorial, we'll leave it where it is. Um, so now let's talk about the gun starting to rotate and then shoot the bullet. Okay, let's look at when do I want it to happen. I'm just going to click pause when I want it to happen right about there let's have the the uh... the barrel start to turn okay so if we go back to my bones setup now i can't honestly tell you that this bone works supposedly this bone is it'll rotate that gatling gun but i wanted to be able to see how it's off center that, that really kind of torques me off actually because i can't just rotate it around that axis that's not correct. Um, I'm not exact. Ah, here, I can try this. Um, if I unparent it. Now the problem is, is that you. Ha All right, so I'm going to click Alt P, and so I'm going to clear the parent and keep the transformation. Okay. Now this guy, I want it to line up so that one of those axes is perfectly perpendicular so I can just rotate in this case it'll be around the z-axis and ideally that'll be and the likelihood of this working especially the first time around ten mm, percent okay so now I can reparent it to that bone and now let's see how I did yeah, you can see that didn't work at all. Alright, so let's unparent it. Clear parent and keep transformation. Let's rotate that one where it wants to be. Okay, and let's do this a different way. So let's reparent it to that bone. Control P. And now, instead of, I'm just going to animate this thing. So, hopefully, yeah, I mean, I can just rotate it around its object. And that will be doing the same thing. The only difference is now I have to deal with its, its rotation separately than I do with the, uh, with the, um, with the armature. Okay, but anyway, so I'm going to start the rotation right about here. So I'm just going to insert a keyframe right there. And now the rotation is going to last, what would you say, I don't know, two seconds maybe? Well, it's just going to keep on going if it's a Gatling gun. And now, so let's rotate. That might be too far, but let's see how that does. Okay. Whoa. That is not what I want to, oh, I know why. Okay, so let's clear those, uh, oh, sorry, let's clear those, those keyframes. All right, back to where we started. Okay, I think I need to be in gimbal. There we go. All right. Um, and now let's go to 280. It still looks cockeyed, but maybe it'll work. All right, there we go. All right, so let's look at that real time. And really, I just want to see this part of it. Click. Let's get rid of that. All right, so I'm going to have to extend it longer, and I'm going to have to set it kind of speed up as it goes. Okay, so let's go to this one. 
what did I say? I'm going to have to extend the amount of time that it goes. Just I'm going to have to keep that amount of time going a long while beyond the shot. Okay, and then let's go into the curves. And what did I say? I'm going to have to make it accelerate in its rotation. So I've still got that selection, limit selection to select it, or limit visible to select it. And I'm not worried about its locations. I am only worried about its, I think it's its Y rotation. So this is really the only one. Now if I press the home key, theoretically that was supposed to show me that one. All right, well, I don't know exactly how that works, but there it is. All right, so I said that I wanted it to, so I extended it, and so I'm gonna need to extend it a whole lot. Control, right, left. I'm holding the control key, moving right and left, moving up and down. All right, now a friend on, on, uh, on YouTube, he told me about interpolating linear so I'm gonna do that. I don't typically interpolate interpolate linear. Um, usually it works pretty well to interpolate Bezier, but in this case I'm gonna go for it. And he made the I didn't understand his comment completely, but mechanical motions typically do go linear, and so I agree with him there. Now this is of course a cyborg. All right, so how does that do? You can see it's it's got some wobble going on there that I really don't like. So eventually I'm gonna have to fix that up. I'm gonna have to fix up this model in order to fix that up. But anyway, um, is that just a... I wonder if um, I need to fix let's take a look at this real time okay and now I need to ease into it though which means right about and now there's a lot of ways to do this and this is probably not the best way at all but I'm gonna insert a whole lot of keyframes to do it alright I'm gonna insert I'm just gonna start here and I'm going to insert a keyframe right there well it's already there move 10 frames forward insert another keyframe and now I'm gonna go into the curve and I'm gonna grab that keyframe and I'm gonna move it down alright now I'm gonna move 10 frames forward I'm going to insert another keyframe. I'm going to grab that keyframe and I'm going to move it down. The idea is I just want a, the slope to kind of slowly increase. So its rotation is actually accelerating before it reaches its, its final speed. Okay. zoom all right so it takes about a second in order to get up to full speed and now all in all I think that that's too much rotation too fast and so I'm just gonna scale it all down control click to the right of that green arrow or to the green line and I'm just going to scale it in the Y direction because this is a 2d oh shoot that won't work um, Maybe if I just bring this one down. And now let's make sure that my actual curve is not. Okay, I'm going to do this sort of thing. Slow it down even some more.
Well, let's see how that did. Starts to roll, starts to still too much. All right. And I'm gonna have to take it way down, actually. goal is just to get some acceleration in that rotation I'll be honest with you I detest working with the curves I avoid them like a plague alright let's see how we're doing now Bam! All right, right about there. Let's extend it a little bit. Okay, brings his arm forward, starts to rotate. Bullet. All right, and so I start my camera track. All right, and so as I look, I think maybe I should have it start rotation a little bit sooner. Okay, but that's easy enough to do. I've got the basic... Um, posing that I want to do with this thing so now I just need to move it over control click when would be a better time to start probably maybe right about there I press the E key or I could have just grabbed them alright let's see how that looks boom and the cameras gonna track the bullet Boom, and the camera will be tracking the bullet. 